did. You you stood for me. Like you you didn't stand for my bullshit and my limitations and you stood for what you know and see in me, which is yeah. beyond limitations, which is limitless. Right. I, I see your perfection and then I see also like the the where I see parts of you that you don't even see yourself and I'm going to stand for those parts. Because the parts of you that you see yourself, you can stand for just fine. I don't need to help you stand for those. That's so true. So last I saw, you were you opened yourself up for taking clients, and this is something new, right? That you're. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely new for me. It was a big step. I kind of clicked, and I saw how my whole life I'd been preparing for this as well, even though I didn't really know it. And so when all of that. Like everything I'd learned so far without even really being cognitive, conscious of it and the stuff that I'd learned over the last year, when all of that clicked and lined up, like I was able to see kind of how powerful like what my ability to see is and how like and what that's like. And so I did open myself up for clients. Yeah. I have three, three different modalities now that <laughs> yeah. I've, I've set up. But um, and one's a month long and like 11 sessions, once three months and 33 sessions, or 11 weeks and 33 sessions, and then one would be like seven days, like full contact, like immersion, which would be oh, kind of like Oh, I love that. And that. That I'm going to call an ego death match. Yeah, I remember that now. So share, I want you to just share too a little about what you actually do, because this is, this isn't for, um, hmm, how do I put this? <laughs> Your soul will know. And even though Paul and I have been journeying together, and I've really seen him as like a companion on my path, I didn't think in any way that he was, especially when I moved in with you, it's like I didn't even, my mind didn't process at all that you would actually be facilitating a process for me because I just had always viewed our relationship as just, yeah, just like companions, friends, we support each other. And I never in my right mind would have thought that our dynamic was going to shift for that time and some way you being um, a facilitator. And I don't even necessarily look at you as someone that's like, you know, I am the guru and I have your answers. You just really do have this presence and this this ability to see through like you said especially to the parts of yourself that we're not seeing and so this this really is um, a soul knowing like your soul does know it's not something that you can really make sense of and it really is for people who are it seems to me and you can correct me if I'm wrong but those who are really 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 ready to step into the next level, a big level of responsibility for themselves. And um, like for me, it's, it's it really is, it's powerful to see what you've been able, and even as friends, like for you to, without making a ruckus about it or needing to place yourself above me or be something for me, it was like you were just there and you were just present and you just like showed up as Paul and it in that process was like you know bringing up a lot of stuff that I really wanted to throw on you or like blame you and which is what I've been doing for a lot of my life is throwing my stuff on people and blaming other people and they took it <laughs> but, right. but Paul doesn't take it so just kind of describe because you have obviously a whole nother perspective of like, because you described it to me when we got together for coffee as, like, pulling the root out. Well, yeah, like, what I, and, I mean, well, to speak to what you said about who it's for, and, like, I'm probably, I'll just say I'm the last coach that, like, people should come to. Like, if you've looked everywhere <laughs> else, and you still, like, they're still, like, you're, like, doing mantras every day, and you're still yeah. having, like, conjure up your sense of joy, and you just aren't finding answers, you've looked everywhere, come to me and I'll help you. Mm -hmm. um, and it's going to, and yeah, it takes a lot of commitment. And so, um, you know, financial commitment, time commitment, um, and, you know, commitment to the process. But um, yeah, it is. It's what, I, like, I'm able to, usually what people do is they balance their energy by projecting themselves out onto a number of people, places, things around them. 
And so what I do is I, like, I become basically the canvas for them to project all of it onto. <laughs> and so I just, like, don't yeah. let, at first I start by not letting I'm them. I'm laughing now. You won't be laughing, believe me. I start by, like, getting them not to project it onto everything else. And then so they project it all onto me. And so once they projected everything onto me, then I, like, show them the picture that they're projecting. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times that's, like, met with resistance. So, like, then they'll get mad at me, and then I just, like, let them run at me, like, metaphorically speaking, and then they have to smash through their own projection and see themselves. And... So it's not necessarily the most present pleasant process like through the whole thing, but it like most of the work I do is in the areas it's like subconscious around you, and so like w the aware part of you just saw me as a friend and just a person chatting with you and whatever, but like at the edges of your awareness and in the unconscious part of you, I'm compelling that part of you to like wake up and start stepping forward mm -hmm. and when like when it's done properly it happens so powerfully that there's no stopping it and like and you just have to like emerge like as like a much bigger much brighter much like more whole version of yourself um, because there's no you don't feel like there's any other choice and and so that's the process I like take people through yeah, and the beautiful and amazing part about it is that it and through the whole thing it has nothing to do with you where no, I think a lot of coaches, it, it, they make it on, in some way feel like it's about them and their amazing gifts and this and that. And yes, you clearly have this gift that is seen, um, but you don't leave your presence feeling like you owe you, so, like I owe you something or that they no, owe you. I don't like to take credit for any of it because it's not really me. It's like I'm, I see myself as like, I'm just in such a surrendered state that whatever is wanting to happen for you like can happen in the space that I will like provide but I, it's not me and I don't have any special skills or any special knowledge necessarily and the only way that I'm able to describe the process that people go through with me is because I've observed that process happening it's not because I do the process necessarily mm -hmm. And you've I, observed it within yourself first. Right. And so I can take people as far as I've taken myself. And I've, mm -hmm. like, I've been through, like, an amazing life journey and an amazing process. It gives me a very unique perspective or line of sight into someone's, like, heart. And so I can see the whole person that the individual I'm looking at can't even see. Mm -hmm. And I can call that person forward. And, and, uh... And it's beautiful to see it happen, and so I look forward to working with with uh, with more people. So, if they want more information, they should email you. Yeah, email me at uh, Cooper at HybridTruth.com. So, C O O P E R at HybridTruth.com, or message me on Facebook. Okay, and I'll leave both of those links at the bottom of this video. 